Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And time for Vlogmas number nine. It's December the 19th, 2017. It's Tuesday and Christmas is next Monday. <laughs> and so I was thinking about this yesterday about how close Christmas is a week away and I was just like, I'm not ready. I haven't got my stuff together. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I've been like avoiding getting Christmas stuff together. I don't know. So, um, anyways, I thought I might talk about what kind of, um, things I had to start getting, getting my uh, act in the gear here. <laughs> so for Christmas day and what I'm going to be doing and everything like that. So, uh, just a little update on my dryer situation I was going on about in my last vlogmas. So I haven't got a new dryer. I haven't fixed my dryer. Um, I think I've decided I, I have absolutely decide I'm going to buy a new dryer and um <laughs> so um I I opened up the dryer and I looked in it for some reason and I noticed this weird spot in the dryer and I pushed on it and it was like because the paint was like bubbling up or something and I pushed on it and there's like a literal hole in the the dryer drum which seems really bizarre to me like how could that happen because and that's can't it cannot possibly be what's cause the thing to overheat I don't know anyways so now that I actually have an actual hole in the drum it isn't just that the thing is overheating <laughs> there's an actual hole in it I, I decided I just need to get a new dryer so anyways uh me and the man uh, we went out doing a little shopping on Sunday hanging out together and um I didn't do no couponing on Sunday I was just hanging out with him and um so, uh, we, we went to this, um, scratch and dent place over in New Albany and they have, um, G, G E, uh, scratch and dent appliances. They also sell new ones in there. Um, there's a G E, um, appliance factory over in Louisville. And so they get the stuff from there. Um, I guess I just wasn't feeling it on Sunday to, to buy a new dryer and stuff. I don't know. And, um. I don't know, maybe I'm having sticker shock because I bought my washer and dryer like 13 or 14 years ago or something. It's been a long time. And um, and I know how much I paid then. And then I was looking at these ones that were scratch and dent models. And I was like, um, that's more than I paid for the ones that I have. So <laughs> maybe the price of them is like really increased and everything. I don't know. So... Um, Anyways, I'm, I'm going to go to Lowe's. I bought mine at Lowe's. I got, I have all my, all my appliances are Whirl Whirlpool that I've gotten at Lowe's and I've always gotten great deals, but I've always like, you know, knew that it was happening, shop deals, got deals on Black Friday and that kind of stuff. So anyways, I need to go out and just really look at them some more. And I was been debating on getting a new washing machine, although this one is okay, but I haven't even complained to you guys about my washing machine and how <laughs> it'll fill up with water, but then it won't engage into the actual agitation um, unless I pick the lid up and drop the lid down really hard. So there's something wrong with the switch mechanism, and of course it's hidden inside, and so <laughs> I'm going to have to take the the washer apart and look at that because I feel like one of these days it's just not going to it's not going to work. The switch is going to be broken, especially because I keep picking the lid up and slamming the lid down to get the switch to activate. Uh, yeah, so I, if I find a good deal on it or something, I might just replace both of them. So we'll see because, you know, if you guys watch my Rite Aid or any of my coupon videos, you know I'm always making them in there because I always have that space clear. That's why it's just so consistent. And the other reason I make my videos on my washer and dryer because I need... The washer and dryer to be cleared off right so it gets me to put my coupon stuff away <laughs> that when i set it there if i set it on the kitchen table it had set there that was my problem so i quit making videos on the kitchen table or any place else because i just let it sit around okay anyways um yeah so we went we went and looked at some um dryers but I didn't get one so now I'm gonna have to and I don't know if I want to wait until after Christmas or I need to do it before Christmas but I don't feel like I have time so I don't know maybe tomorrow I'll see what my man's up to because my truck is still out of commission I can't do it in my own truck I have to you know have to take his so uh anyway so 
we went and did that and we got chocolate milkshake at Dairy Queen while we were out. We stopped at this, uh, this thrift store and um, he bought me a few things. A couple of things so I thought I'd show you. I got this little snowman plate. It's glass or porcelain, whatever. I thought it was really cute. It was 93 cents. They do that 7 cents tax and it makes it a dollar. Um, I got this bag of um, teeny little Christmas tree ornaments. and um, But there's some little teeny snowmen in there. And I thought they were just really cute. So I really like snowmen. Oh, and a bag of marbles. <laughs> and then the lady proceeded to dump the marbles all over the counter. There they went. Okay, he had to chase marbles. All right, he got a couple of things too. I didn't even remember what he bought. But he got himself something, so he got me those. Anyhow, and then, so I went ahead and got him a Christmas present. And because he needed to be there, um, he's been needing a new pair of boots. And so I told him I'd buy him some new boots for Christmas. And, of course, I wanted him to pick out the ones because I would not have picked out the right ones. Even if I had picked the right ones, he would have said they weren't the right ones, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we went and went to the... Um, uh, Red Wing. Is that the name of the, the boot place? That's where he, he always has those boots. And that's, that's the only one he wants. And they're expensive, but they're good boots. And um, so, got him that. And I bought him a belt, too. <laughs> which is um, was an expensive belt. So, I got him that. But I have a couple other things for him for Christmas that he doesn't know about. So, that'd be alright. He's already got his boots. And, um, yeah. So... Um, we did that and I think, and then we came back and we watched some movies on TV and I don't even remember what we watched. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember at all. So, um, anyways, there's that. So for our um, family, my family Christmas get together that we're having, um, talking to my sister and, um, she wanted to know, do you want to have a set down dinner or should we just have like appetizers and people can just snack all day long whatever they want and I said oh well let's have a snackathon." so that's what we're doing <laughs> we're gonna have like like mostly like you know finger foods or, or stuff like that but you can have a lot of variety and, and good stuff like, like that with that so um um so we've been talking with the sisters and my sister-in-law and everything about what everybody's gonna bring so I finally I had to write this down because I was like I need to figure out if I need to go to the grocery store again because I'm like the closer it gets to Christmas, the less likely I want to go to the Chris to the grocery store because I this last weekend it was already a madhouse. So um, I was thinking I might need to take a day off of work and like so I don't have to go shopping on the weekend. Maybe like shop Friday morning or something. <laughs> so. Um, so anyways, I've been writing up my menu and you guys can um, hear what I'm going to, what I'm going to be bringing. At least these are some of the things I'm going to be bringing. And um, so I thought I'd make those um, meatballs that you just put barbecue sauce and grape jelly in a crock pot with meatballs and then you just heat it up. Um, I haven't had any for a really long time and I've actually never made any myself. So, but that's all you do. Um, you can buy pre-made meatballs if you want. And I haven't decided if that's what I'm going to do or make my own. Because I have the stuff already to make some meatballs. And it's just like making meatloaf, but you make meatballs. And then, um, but I don't have any of the pre-made ones. So I'm thinking I may just may as well just go ahead and make some make meatballs myself. So I'll have to do that like early. And then, um, and then I'm going to make deviled eggs. So I'll do that the night before. And then um, I, my other thing I really wanted was some um, cranberry orange chutney, which it's been years since I made any, but it's really good, or even, even since I've even had any. And um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to make that. My sister says she likes it on, on brie cheese baked in the oven, and I've never had it like that. And I don't even know if I like brie cheese, so I haven't decided, but I'll have to get some brie cheese if I'm going to do that. And, um, oh, and I'm going to make some cranberry pineapple punch. And you just take, like, I have some, I got a, a two liter of Sierra Mist or something free from Kroger with the Friday freebie things a while back. And I was like, I need to use it for something. Um, so I thought I'd make some, 
some punch, cranberry punch with that. You can use ginger ale, whatever. Um, and then I'm also going to make some um, turkey cream cheese roll-ups. You know, you get like flour tortillas and you make a cream cheese and just some seasoning. Like you could use ranch dressing seasoning mix, you know, like Hidden Valley seasoning mix or just put some pepper seasoning in there, whatever flavor you want. And then like I usually dice up some onions and then you spread that onto the uh, flour tortilla and you put slices of uh, turkey or ham, whatever you want, some kind of lunch meats on there. And you roll it up and then you cut it into like half inch circles and then make pinwheel roll-ups. <laughs> okay, you can search the internet. It's easy to find. Um, so I'm going to make some of those. And I have a bunch of olives and pickles and um, that I'm going to get. And I got my crackers that I got from Kroger on Saturday. And um, I'm probably going to make some cookies because like with these couponing deals and stuff, I end up with like Ghirardelli cookie mix and brownie mix or Betty Crocker brownie mix and this and that, you know, and, and so I'm like, I've been on this kick about just using up all those little, all those boxes of stuff. I have so much cake mix too. So, which brings me to a whole other thing about what I'm going to do for Christmas and the family. So I've, I've decided I'm going to take a couple of boxes and I'm just going to fill them up with like all this miscellaneous food that I keep getting for like free and stuff. And I'm taking it and um, and I'm get, get, going to make them take it home with them <laughs> and get rid of it. Because they're the ones with kids and and uh, what, go through it a lot faster than I do. I end up with all this free food. So anyway, so um, yeah, going to have I need to give away all that. And I'm also going to I'll probably take about three boxes of um, like all my coupon stuff, shampoo, toothpaste and you know, like I always do, and, um, give away all my, give them that stuff for Christmas too, and then, um, we're gonna play some games, and, um, I don't know what games we're playing, Christmassy games, I don't know when it in a minute, I don't know what, I don't know what's gonna be happening, because I told my sister, and her and my sister-in-law, they can, they can deal with coming up with ideas of things to do, so, <laughs> anyways, but I do have one thing that I'm, I'm bringing, and I didn't even tell them I'm gonna do this, so, um, but I got this jar, and these are those um, Russell Stover candies, the sugar-free ones that I got it free from Rite Aid a few weeks ago. And so I put a whole bunch of them in this jar. And so whoever guesses the closest to how many candies are in the jar is going to win the jar of candy. And actually, even though these say sugar-free, they've got um, stevia in them, um, which actually tastes good to me. I don't eat artificial sweeteners because they taste bitter. And, um, but these, these actually taste like real chocolate and they tasted good. <laughs> and my man approved of them too. And he's pretty picky about his, his, uh, chocolates. So, um, anyways, so they're, somebody's going to have, somebody's going to win this. It's going to be one of our games. I did that before. Um, like I got M&Ms in a, like a, a jar and I counted, M&M's into the jar and had them guess on that and that was that's just it's just a fun little game to you know add variety to the Christmas uh, get together <laughs> so anyways we'll be playing games and stuff but um yeah so I've just been working on making a list of all the stuff that I need to get done um before Christmas and all my whether I got Christmas gifts for you know everything laid out and what I need to get together so um yeah, in my shopping list for food, because some, most of the foods that I, I wanted to make stuff that I was ready for, and I didn't have to get a lot of stuff at the grocery store, so, but I still have some things I need to buy, and, and, um, yeah, so, I don't know, we'll see, and I'll, I'm gonna try and take you guys <laughs> along with my, my, um, my Christmas cooking I'll be doing, so, um, at least some of it, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's all for now, and I'll talk to you guys later.